Hello everybody, just leaving the airport now and I'm with a driver who intends to tell me a lot of things about um, Joe Berg. I told him I'm creating travel stories about South Africa. He would introduce himself now. So hello sir, what's your name? Hi guys, how are you? My name is Gift. I'm from Joe Berg, born and bred here. I've been pushing the transporting for 10 years now in the transporting industry and seven years at the airport. Yeah, so yeah, that's me. Okay, it's nice to meet you, Gift. Uh, I like the fact that you are willing to tell us about um, Joe Berg. Like I was telling you before I started recording, I'm from Nigeria. Okay. And I have a YouTube channel where I tell travel stories. Yes. And on this episode, we are going to be focusing on Johannesburg in South Africa. How would you describe Johannesburg? This is your town. Describe it for us. Ah, uh, man, Joe Berg, um, so far, I enjoy it, you know, and um, I like Jobek a lot. I was born here. Yes, a lot of people complain about traffic, business. I enjoy that business because I'm a hardworking man, so I like to work with people. So Jobek is a very good um, province, uh, I would say city, because we've got Victoria and Jobek. So the, I, would, I would just put it in one basket as in like, it's Gauteng. So Gauteng is a very good city, uh, but most people, they come here like for, for work. They work here, you know, there's no time to rest in Jobek. And yeah, there's, um, I believe that Jobek is safe because since I've, I was born here, I never uh, got marked according to what the media says. Um, when people want to come and they try to check the reviews of Joburg and they say no, Joburg is dangerous. I get that a lot from the um, um, visitors, international visitors most, since I'm mainly working at the airport for the past seven years. They ask me about Joburg. Joburg is a good place, just that there are certain areas that you can't be walking around. I mean, exposing your gadgets. They will definitely try to take a chance as any other countries, there are places where you can't go. You know, you will need someone probably that from that place to take you uh, uh, to places that um, you want to see and they feel like they're not safe. So, yeah, Jobek is a good place, man. And yeah, um, yeah, it's a good place, I can say that. You seem very passionate about Jobek, and I like that. Before I came, I did a lot of reviews, and everybody is saying Jobek is not safe, don't travel to Johannesburg. Yeah. If you travel there, just stay inside your hotel, else they will rob you, they will mock you. But what you're saying right now is that uh, it's not exactly like that, and uh, it's only a few places that it happens. Yes, yes, 100%. For example, um, we've got uh, Joburg CBD. So, Joburg CBD, uh, let me say Johannesburg town, exactly. There's, it differs. So, you go to Bravantane in Joburg, it's very safe there. And you go to a place called Mabone, most of the tourists, they go there, the backpackers. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a very safe place. You find people that um, the tour guides um, showing the uh, tourists around, and then you can't go to the CBD Hillbro side. If you go to Hillbro, definitely, and there's guys around that just watching to, and they will see if you are new in in the area. They will definitely try to take their chances. But sometimes you can walk around and no one will touch you. You know, like me, I don't like going to CBD because I know when they see your phone. In a, like as a print in your pocket they can even take it daylight and no one will do anything they can drop you when people are around and no one will say anything that's job CBD in town go to Santin, nothing happens even in Santin, I won't say nothing happens there and there if you are walking with your phone as in like you know there's cars that sometimes drive around they take chances they can grab your phone especially like quickly and jump into a car and drive and drive with your phone you know so any I think it depends with the day. If it's your bad day, it's your bad day. You know, it's like that. Yeah. Wow, interesting. For a place like Johannesburg, like how much is rent typically? Like how much you pay for rent? Are houses cheap or they are expensive? Okay, so currently I'm renting um, an apartment. So, job rent is not that expensive. It depends if you with the areas okay. that you want to stay. You know. So sometimes you can find good apartments in a in a in an affordable uh, area. Mm. Yeah. Whereas you go to Senti, um, the same apartment you will pay like double the amount. You yeah. Know? So yeah, rent is not that bad in Jobe compared to Cape Town, Devon. You know, the, those places are expensive. Mm. Yeah. So far, so rent is not that bad. Yeah, I must say. Yeah. Okay. 
I would like to now switch it up a bit. Okay. I'm Nigerian. Okay. And I've heard that we have a lot of Nigerians in South Africa. 100%. Do you have personal encounters with Nigerians that are living in, in Joburg? Yes. If yes, what's, what's your impressions about Nigerians? Okay, my brother, I would just say the honest truth. Yeah. So, um, when I started with this business, I was based most in, in, in Sentin. Mm -hmm. So, most in Sentin, most of the Nigerians, they are, yeah, they are in Sentin. I won't say, yeah, they're in Sentin. Okay. You know? Um, so, they're renting like expensive places, I must mm. say. Mm. And that time, it's like a weekday, coming from a Sentin shopping, those expensive designer brands. Okay. And I like to chat with people. Hi, my man, you know, what, what do you do? Because I, 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 every opportunity yes. I would like to grab, you know. Mm -hmm. So some of them, they're honest with you, my brother. They will tell you that um, this is the kind of job I do. Mm. Um, um, I would say they, they, they're doing something not legal. And trust me. So, but you know, we said this conversation is going to be honest. Yes. yes so yes. I need it. I, oh, I need I'm it to just be honest. honest yes. The way it is. Yes. So okay. no, no need to fake it. No, no need to feel that yes. job they're doing. Yes. No, they told me that they deal with like uh, grabbing card, credit cards, like uh, cloning cards. That's what they said. Uh, most of them mm -hmm. that I've met, they work at night during the day. They spend the money. Mm. Um, and. Um, I don't know if I must also include it when it's okay. Maybe later, especially when it comes to the South African ladies. Okay. You know, everything that they do, we we we, we, we they, they are open as well. Oh. Why I'm I'm dating. Um, I'll just put it. They say jollof. They call them jollof. You know. Jollof is rice. You know? But we, Nigerians, they are called jollof here. No, Nigerians are called jollof. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And women, they gave them name jollofina. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so why why do they call Nigerians jollof? Yeah. It comes from that rice. Oh, it comes okay. from jollof rice. Have yeah. you ever had jollof rice? To be honest, no. You should I try haven't. it. You should try it, Gift. Huh? I'll try it. You should try it. I'll try it. Yeah. I'll try it. I'll try it one day. Okay. I'll have to try. Okay. So yeah, my man. So the ladies here, our, our South African ladies, I'll be specific. Uh huh. They call them jollofina. Okay. Yeah. So the name jollof comes from them. Jollof rice. Okay. So now when you talk about Nigerians in the gossip pages on Instagram, or when you're talking with anyone from South Africa, they say. The jollof, jollof, jollof. So yes, Nigerians, I must say that I'm not a bad person. I'm not racist. I love mm -hmm. everyone, yeah. you know. But I've met a rude Nigerian. Mm -hmm. That's when they jump inside your car. They just switch on the aircon. They place the radio. Mm -hmm. They don't ask, you know, that my man, please switch off the aircon. Or switch on the aircon, yeah. you know. But I've met the good ones. Mm -hmm. Trust me, mm -hmm. I've met the good ones. Like, yo, know, and I was surprised to see that. Are they? even good Nigerians out there because I would say out of 100% 80% were bad with your personal experience yes yes and then 20% they are good my man I've met the good ones like they are good good you would even you 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 won't even tell that this guy is Nigerian like, because they are just good and I, and I do ask them why are some treating us like this and this and this they, they're not honest why you know they say oh we don't know I think it's everyone's like that but I say Trust me, 80% men, they are not good. To a point where I, I, I at some point, I didn't even like Nigerians. Mm. And which is, that's wrong of me mm -hmm. until I met the good one. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, ah, they are bad people, they are good people, the same as other countries and any, and, and any other people, you know. So yeah, that's my... Yeah, so like we started the conversation, that the conversation is going to be purely honest. Yes. And so I like the fact you express your, you expressed your feelings. The yes, way it yes. Is. And it's the first time. Yes. <laughs> uh, and so, um, like I say, I travel a lot. Yes. And I have met a lot of people of different nationalities. 100%. So I would say that there are about 200 million people in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And there's no way you have that much people that you would have the good and the bad people. Mm. And so if you meet a bad Nigerian, that person is a bad person. Oh. Does not mean that Nigerians are bad people. Okay. If okay. you meet a, like if I meet a South African who is into crimes, I won't conclude that South Africans are criminals. Yes, I would yes. say that person is a criminal. Yes, so yes. the impression I just would want to create here is that um, 
we are both good people and bad people from Nigeria. And don't yeah. allow the bad people to make you conclude that Nigerians are bad people. Yes, you know? yes, so, but I, I would not um, discount your experiences that you have had. Yes. And I hope you continue to meet good Nigerians as you continue to meet more Nigerians in the future. Yes, and yes, they treat yes. you better and make you um, love Nigerians and even make you interested to visit Nigeria one day. Yes, we'll yes, be more yes. than happy to host you in Nigeria and take good care of you and show you what it means to be jollof. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <there you> go. <laughs> no, definitely I'd love. I'd love to visit um, Nigerian one day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would love to visit and you know get to know the place. You yeah, know? yeah, and, and the people and, and, and yeah. Um yeah. I would love, I would love to do that one day. But, okay, so do you know anything about Nigerian music? So I'm um, currently in South Africa. Um, I'm a piano is big. Uh -huh. I'm a piano is big. Uh -huh. um, um, and Nigerian music, yes, we do listen to it. But personally, Benna Boy most, you know, I listen to Benna Boy. He's having his show again. It definitely soon. Okay. Yeah. So just that um, I don't like to go to this kind of shows. Too crowded. For okay. me, you know, yeah. But um, yeah. I, I listen to Benna Boy and the music is nice, my man. Trust me. Even in my playlist now, if I go, then I hear the music you find is Benna Boy, my man. You know, it's Benna Boy. I, I um, I like that man and I like his personality. You know, he's a good man. He, the way he talks to people, as I say, that he is one of the good Nigerians never met before. But mm -hmm. you know. From a distance, yeah, it's a good man, I must say that. So, yeah, the music is nice, but in South Africa, I'm a piano so far, it's big, my man. Yeah. Okay, talking about Nigeria still. Yes. Have you had, okay, maybe I should ask first, are you married? Uh, yes, oh, I am, oh, I am, I am married. Okay, so I would have asked if you've ever had a Nigerian girlfriend. But since you're married... No, you can ask. <laughs> you know why? Uh-huh. Why? 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 Before I was married, before I met my, my wife, okay. um, I've always wanted to, you know, maybe date like a Congolese, Nigerian, but Nigerians, women, you don't find them easily. I don't know in South Africa, they are, they are, you, know, they are you don't find them easily. Mm -hmm. So I've asked those that I met, why are Congolese and Nigerian women only date their, their, their people? Mm. And they asked why the guys don't mind to date the South African women. Mm. You know? So, to be honest, till this day, there's no answer. Okay. They never answered me why. Because, I mean, I, 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 I don't get it. I don't understand why. You okay. know? I feel like these women from Nigeria or Congolese, they must give South African men chats. <laughs> Those who are not married. <laughs> okay, so I have a theory. Okay. And the theory is that um, there's this general impression that Nigerian men mm -hmm. take care of women very well. And they spend money on women. Mm -hmm. They are able to <laughs> do so many things that maybe other men don't see necessary. Yes. So would you not think that that is part of the reason why the South African women also like the Jollof Nigerian boys? Okay, my man, let me be honest. Uh -huh. As I've said, when you first asked about the Nigerians, and how they, not all of them guys, uh -huh. don't get me wrong, yeah, not yeah. everyone, mm -hmm. the ones I've met, the reason of them spending so much money um, to these women is because it's easy money, remember? Okay. It's an easy income, mm -hmm. you know, it's not the money that they worked hard for, okay. you know? I'm not saying I don't spoil my women, mm -hmm. every man spoil their women or girlfriend or wife, you know, but the way they are doing it, and the videos I've seen after that, the treatment they give these women after that, like I've seen some nudity videos where it's Nigerian guys taking videos, these South African women are naked, you know. So I feel like some women would do anything for money. Mm. So um, now that gives um, other South Africans when they comment, as I've said in this video, we'll be honest. They say, you see these Jollof boys now, um, they treating our sisters very bad because they these ladies they love money they love mm. designer bags look you you know your Louis Vuitton, Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Mm. so these guys can buy them but mm. the things that they do before they get that um, 
that's what I am told, you mm. know, by some of these ladies or friends of those Slay Slay Queens ladies. Because <laughs> Slay Queens, by the way, I I think it differs. Mm. They are those who slay with their money. Yeah. They are those slay with their the chance money. Yeah. yeah. That way, mm. You know. So I've asked few women that dating Nigerians, and the answer she gave me that's the one that's the lady in fact I can remember. Mm. Um, she told me that. Um, a Nigerian man will call you during the day and ask if you have eaten, mm -hmm. and then she will, and then he will uh, uh, Uber eat food to uh -huh. you. He opens the doors for you. Uh -huh. I'm like, guys, you are romantic. We can give. Ah. We give. Yes, I do that. Oh, really? <laughs> no, but the, 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 the women are saying the Nigerian men are extra romantic. Maybe up, apart from giving them money, uh -huh. they also try to treat them with care, attention. Uh -huh. So maybe that's the extra thing the Nigerian men are doing. Not just the money. Um, maybe. Okay. Maybe. Okay. maybe uh -huh. But so far, what I see and what I've heard, you know, the money is uh, important. Money. Okay. Money. Women love money, guys. Women love money, whether I like it or not. I've even accepted that uh, most relationships they fail because there's no there's no income. Mm. Yeah, most of relationships they fail uh, because there's no money you know whatever you have gents buy flowers sometimes buy give your woman that whatever 500 that you have it's something you know it means a lot because south african men yeah mostly they focus on they like alcohol man they drink a lot you know they don't even like to treat women good sometimes you know i must say but not all of them are mm -hmm. yeah but uh yeah let's let's treat our let's treat these women nice let's give them money in fact there's one of my clients he was just honest to me you know he's a good man and he's a wealthy man mm -hmm. and he has told me what day you know like in fact after he told me that um that's where even my you know my perspective changed when mm. it comes to giving women money. money he told me that my man if you are stingy forget about um good relationship or if you if you are you are still a busy man forget about that women won't cheat for you so as long as you give them money my man you know they will they will they will they will, they will teach you well as well you know because it's in their nature mm. it's in their nature you know so yeah that man told me give women money you'll be fine but not all women, I give my women money. Okay, <laughs> so you're a good guy. No, definitely, my man. Me, um, I'm focusing my women. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. that's good. Yeah, so generally, I would say, um, I have this is my first time to visit South Africa, okay, and most of the things I hear or know are things I read online about South Africa, mm -hmm. the Nigerian guys who are also here. Mm -hmm. Like some of the things you have said did not come as a surprise yes, because yes. I've heard that uh, okay. some Nigerians and other nationalities in South Africa yes. are involved in some crimes, yes. but there are Nigerians who are also living here legitimately. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and doing very good business, yes, yes, very yes. responsible, 100%. respect the laws and all. So for me, I always want to encourage that um, any person who leaves their home to another man's country has become an ambassador of their nationality. Mm -hmm. So as a Nigerian, like for me, yes. for every country I go to, I am a Nigerian ambassador. Okay. I, yes, I try to make sure any person I meet mm -hmm. would know that this man is a Nigerian and Nigerians are nice people. Yes. yes because yes. that's maybe this encounter we are having is probably the only time we are ever going to see ourselves. Yes. And so if I treat you bad, if you are not someone who is very mature in the mind, you can conclude that this guy is bad and Nigerians are bad. Yes. yes so, but. Yes. I try as much as possible to make sure the encounter is always good. Yeah, so yes. they are very good Nigerians and like I said, they are bad people who are bearing the Nigerian name and they come here or other places in the world and give the bad impression that Nigeria people are not so good people. Mm -hmm. But trust me, Nigerians are very hospitable people yes. and um, we treat women very well. Okay. You know, a Nigerian man would ask you, have you eaten my baby? <laughs> what do you okay. want to eat? Yes. Uh, you know they can call you 10 times a day and ask you 20 times you know so the women will be like oh very caring man yeah and but um i was in cape town and i met some guys yes. and they told me oh man south african guys we like to drink a lot you know and i'm like okay and i said you said that to me yeah. too and i'm like well nigerian men maybe they also drink but they don't drink so much to the extent that 
um, they try to support us. Yes, yeah. you know, Nigerian men are um, very. They have goals. They want to make money. Yes, yeah, they want definitely. To, you know, so when they come anywhere, they are looking for opportunities to start a business, uh -huh. and it's just unfortunate that some of them may want to do business that is illegal. Yes, you yes, know. Yes, yes. So, but generally, um, Nigerians are very nice people. You know, yeah, and I'm not saying that because I'm Nigerian, but I've, I've lived in Lagos, I've lived in Abuja, mm -hmm. in a number of places in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and I've seen both good and bad people everywhere. Yes, you yes. know. So I'm just trying to say, um, Nigerians are really nice people to be around. You know. No, definitely, mm -hmm. my man. I've met, as I said, that mm -hmm. I've met. Um, I remember there was a Nigerian doctor that I used to, you know, um, transport. He was a good man. Mm. There's a gentleman that I met. He resides in Cape Town, but um, I met him at the, at, the, at the airport one day, and then um, yeah, I, I went with him almost the whole day. And he also told me that um, my man, if you want to be happy, just make money. Mm. Yeah, most of the channels <laughs> they talk about money, guys, and it's important. They say make money, and which no, is but true. you know, money is not everything, huh? Money is not everything. Yeah. Yes, so but, but people say make money all the time, but I believe money is not everything. Um, finding genuine fulfillment in what you do yes. is important. Um, having people you love and they love you too mm -hmm. is also very important. And at the end of the day, you are going to die one day and leave all the money. Yes. So if you sell your soul in the search of money, what would you gain? You, you, you get so money is important don't get me wrong yes, yes. because I, <clears throat> I flew all the way down here i had to pay for it yes, you know yes, yes. so you need money to do some of these things yes. but money is not the only important thing in life right eh? that's my principle me too yeah me too because i've met trust me in this business my man i've learned a lot i've met people with money mm. serious money and they will tell you that my man i wish i were you and you ask them how because you've got big houses I need peace. Mm. I'm not at peace. I've got all the kind of money I can buy a Ferrari now. You can take me to Sentinel and buy Ferrari cash. But I'm not happy for the past seven years. Wow. Imagine someone with money and says for the past seven years he is not happy. You know, he doesn't have peace. So that's what I've learned that peace it's important. Yeah. We do need money, yes, mm. but peace. All right, my man, it's been an interesting ride. It's about 30 minutes we've been talking. Oh. Yes, and it's <laughs> it's been interesting. We've talked about a lot of things. I would just like to say thank you. Um, I didn't know what to expect when I started recording, but yes. I appreciate that you were able to speak to me freely. Yes, and yes. Um, thank you, my man. And just keep being a good guy and take care of your family, make good friends, and yes. also make South Africa become a good place in your only two way man 100 percent. i'll do that my man yeah i i i, I do my best with, with everything when i get an opportunity or anything given you know i do my best i don't try i believe in doing your best yeah you know so i do my best in in everything that you know i am given or chance or opportunity mm -hmm. so and i must say you're a good man because compared to when i meet people the way i met you People give attitude, more especially when you are not from here. Mm. They'll give you, and so you were nice. You gave me a chance. I presented myself to you, and you gave me this opportunity. And we are here now. And I didn't know that this is what we are going to do. But you see, I believe that God is a good God. So yeah. means, people don't meet what coincidentally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a reason why I met you. Yeah. That's what I believe. And mm -hmm. yeah, all your best on your journey um, with your. Um, I, I would pray that you get a lot of subscribers, a lot of clients in everything you do. May God bless you and all the best, my man. And I, I, I can guarantee you, nothing will happen. Well, nothing bad will happen with you, Joven. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you happen. very much. I, I would shake your hands. Thank you, my brother. For friendships and new relationships. Hundred percent. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll have your number when I show up. When I come there, I'll definitely give you a shot. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, thank you very much, Gift and um, guys. This is unplanned it was unscripted i met gift at the airport i was trying to order an uber and it was taking a long time and the guy came up to me and said i'm an uber driver he showed me his phone and i'm like okay let me give you a chance and as i entered into his vehicle i told him i just recently started creating youtube videos would he like to share his experience and he said yeah why not and he's giving me a very honest opinion 
of what he thinks generally so i wish him the very best in everything he does and at the same time i want to say um don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and share and we'll continue to tell the stories of um, the various people in the world so see you in the very next video guys bye guys bye guys all right we love you guys okay